These are some of the raised beds that I built with the logs that I had extra from this tree that I had cut so I could receive more sunlight in the backyard. I built these out of wood of course but I utilized the extra wood here to build natural raised beds as I am on the other side of this shed. Now hopefully I'll use a piece from another tree that I had left to build some other raised beds use up the rest of the soil that I bought which was 12 yards I'd say it's down to about five now and probably construct two other beds like those those are 12 by fours I'd say about 10 beds in here so far at least four of them are natural and six are built I also have one in the front that I made out of cement this one in the front I made for a sweet husky cherry tomato plant, actually sun sweet. I put the marigolds around in the bricks and then I added cedar mulch to hopefully deter certain uh, rotting and insects. So it is a husky sun sweet cherry tomato plant with two different types of purple basil as you can notice. beautiful little butterfly so accustomed once you start vibing with nature nature isn't afraid of you they can sense the oneness this is my pepper and cherry tomato bed sweet peppers we have orange yellow red bell peppers habaneros inferno hot Hungarian wax pepper and some marigolds but what I wanted to show was the beautiful flowers on this cherry tomato plant and then the actual little cherry tomatoes it's just it's wonderful when you look at it nature in its creation you can see how the three little tomatoes are forming four and then the flowers that were pollinated so children can use this as a as an educational video and say look these are cherry tomatoes the flowers get produced by the plant the insects pollinate it or we can pollinate it the wind can pollinate it and then the tomatoes start to form from the pollination it's beautiful it's just so small delicate and lovely nature's learning lesson right next to this of course I have the natural built bed that I created from the logs with black crim, San Marzano, uh, Roma tomatoes, cherry, and I think it's, let me see, beefsteak? Yeah, Italian paste. Also, I put some golden majorum in here because when you plant with uh, certain plants, companions, they protect each other, they help each other, and they grow better. That's a type of variegated oregano thyme. Over here in these natural beds, I have uh, broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower with the companion plants of dill, chamomile, and a sage over here in the corner. Uh, I have to knock that piece off. That's why I cut it. It's a little strong there on the wood. Then on this bed is the celery, the giant celery, and the kale with two marigolds in there to help it. The crop of lemon balm, lemon citrophenella, lovely delicious tea that heals many ailments, and a natural raised bread that I built along here. I put water in buckets and barrels to dechlorinate it naturally before I water the plants. Rainwater I try to use when possible, but I do remember that the roof is made of shingles that contain petroleum based products. I see a lot of videos where people use the rainwater. It would be nice to have it on say ceramic tiles come down into a stainless steel container instead of a tar based roof into a plastic barrel. Thanks for watching this vid and as the garden comes along I will give updates.